Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you a few apps that will actually pay you some extra money without you really having to do anything. So the first one is actually a browser. You can replace, say, Google Chrome. You can replace Firefox. You can replace, you know, Safari if you have an iPhone. But you can use this and it can actually pay you. So it's called Brave Private Browser. And it has a bunch of different features. You may have even seen it on the Joe Rogan experience. He mentioned it in an interview um, in one of those episodes of very popular podcast, but it's a more private browser than most of the top choices out there like Chrome, maybe Firefox and things like that. It does support Chrome extensions. A big part of what's made Chrome so powerful is Chrome extensions and a lot of other browsers were not able to support them. Well now Brave can, of course Microsoft Edge can now, and you can earn 70% or so of what advertisers pay for ads that you see while you're browsing the internet. So currently you can make around $5 or so per month from this. You can't make a whole lot, but it's more than you would probably get paid for using any other browser. So as far as a way to make extra money without having to do anything outside of what you're already doing, you could just switch to the Brave browser with your Android or Apple device, and it will basically help you stay more secure and, um, help you avoid more ads as well as pay you for the ads that you do see. So it's just another good option and it's very highly rated with 250,000 plus reviews, got a 4.8 out of five stars. Another thing you can do is allow a an app to basically collect anonymous data for consumer behavior studies. So you have like MB Meter CX for instance, they help conduct market research studies through these apps and they track things like maybe what kind of websites you like to go to, what kind of apps you like to use and things like that. And most of these apps will collect this data anonymously. So they're not tracking like what your name is, who you are and putting you in these studies. It's more of a mass study of overall consumer behavior. So what they're more interested in is what most people do, not in what each individual does. So data collection, $5 minimum cash out before you can start withdrawing money from MB Meter CX, but it pays you to just collect data in the background and you don't actually have to do any kind of work. You don't have to spend time watching videos or doing anything or answering questions. It literally just runs in the background as long as you make sure you accept the terms of service and that you make sure it is enabled and running, then you know it'll tell you right there. Usually it'll say meter status running. Once it's doing that, you are able to start earning money passively. You can make one cents to $2 per day or more based on your location, and you can get paid via PayPal. Another one is called FOPE. So if you have images on your phone, which you probably do, phone images, Phone cameras are getting much better over time. Every time a new phone comes out, it seems like there's more pixels, there's a better camera, whether it's front facing, whether it's the actual um, back camera, but you pretty much are getting a better camera every time. A lot of people don't even have a separate camera from their smartphone. So you're taking all these pictures all the time of you know your dog or your, you and your friends or vacations you're going on, and these images just sit there in your phone. You might show them to your friends or something, but that's about it. And then you might upload to them to the cloud and then you might look at them every once in a while, every few years. But you can actually get paid for these photos that you're already taking anyway that are just sitting on your phone. You can use FOP and it's a free app. You can sell your photos. You basically build an Instagram profile and you can follow other people and things like that. So here's an example of what one looks like. And then you can sell your photos. So when a company or some sort of blogger or some, somebody wants to buy the rights to your photos, a lot of times they can get it cheaper through FOP than they can by going, you know, as opposed to going to a professional photographer who charges premium prices. So you can get paid 50% of what the photo sells for, which is typically $10. So you can get paid like $5 per photo sale. And these are photos you're already going to have. I'm not saying you should go out and take extra photos to try and sell them unless you just really want to be a photographer, but you can sell the ones you already have with FOP. Another thing you can do is literally get paid for your steps. So you have all these different wearables now, like these Apple watches and stuff that track your steps. You have apps that do this on your phone, 
but there's an app called Sweatcoin that will actually pay you kind of like cryptocurrency in a way. They have like their own little point system and you convert these points to either PayPal money or to, you know, points towards buying workout gear and things like that. They have like their own little marketplace within the app. So it's very highly rated, about four out of five stars, but they track your steps for you. And based on how many steps you take, you get so many sweat coins earned. And then you can cash out. You can see a few options here, like for different earphones, for PayPal, for a you know smartwatch or whatever it is that you want to use your points towards. So it's literally passive because you are walking every day, at least a, a little bit, even if you work from home. So Sweatcoin pays you for something you're already doing as well, meaning you don't have to go out of your way to make a little bit of extra money. Another thing you can do, which is actually really good long term is using acorns acorns can pay you for um, investing your money they can help you automate the whole process by basically rounding up your purchases on a credit card that you have on file to the nearest dollar so if you buy as they use as an example a three dollar and sixty cent coffee at starbucks or something like that they round it up to four dollars and invest that 40 cent difference you can also have it automatically invest a certain amount of money each month if you're not really using uh, the app enough as far as transactions if you don't have a lot of transactions every month you might just be investing a few dollars a month but you can automatically set it to import money into your investing with acorns and they also have different types of financial articles to give you tips on what to do they have like five or six different levels as far as risk management as far as how they invest your money based on what you're comfortable with in terms of risk if uh, you want to say read a book about this type of thing I would recommend money master the game by Tony Robbins it'll kind of explain to you what investing is like as a beginner what to do when you're young what to do when you get older usually they say to be more risky and it's invest more in stocks when you're younger and then more in bonds and less risk when you're older when you're getting closer to actually using that money for your retirement now obviously you should get your own certified financial planner and advisor because i'm not one but you can go read a, a little bit into it and acorns can really help you automate the whole process without you having to think about it all the time Another one you can use is called Feature Points, which allows you to earn money from a lot of different things. So you can download apps. So if you're thinking about, say, getting a new game for your phone or getting some new type of app in, in general for your phone, what you can do instead of going straight to the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store is go to Feature Points first and then see if it's on there. That way you actually get points towards cashing out via PayPal, via gift cards or Bitcoin for trying out apps through them instead of through the regular app store so that's one way then you also have surveys then you also have free trials you can check out some free trials on different sites a lot of times you don't get paid anything for that but if you go through feature points you do you also have um, different sweepstakes now and you can also refer people if you're a blogger or a youtuber or a social media influencer or something like that and you do sponsorships and you do affiliate marketing and those types of things this has one of the best referral programs for a free program i've ever seen because they pay you 50 percent of whatever your referrals earn so that's really good of course as opposed to most most of them that will just give you like a dollar or two or they'll give you like 10 percent of whatever they earn so really good referral program and they pay very quickly you can use the code e7krre if you want to also get free points when you sign up they give you like 50 free points so that you can cash out faster the first time but um, they actually benefit the person that you are referring as well which also makes the referral program much better but it's available for android and apple devices and here are a few screenshots here so here's like the app version you download these apps it tells you how many points you earn your total is there in the top right corner and then you can uh, make money by cashing out via gift cards PayPal or Bitcoin as you can see right there so that's another great one that pays you for a lot of things you're already doing again you can also shop online if you're going to buy something on the internet they have you know up to maybe like 20 or 30 percent cash back on certain things that otherwise you wouldn't get another one you can use that's 
as far as like cash back and stuff like that is Ibotta. So that is always on the editor's choice list because it's just so good for especially grocery shopping and things like that. So that's kind of how they started. Now they have branched out into other things. Like you can book hotels with like hotels.com with them. You can do things like, you know, buy something at CVS or Walgreens or Lowe's or Best Buy. You have a lot of different stores on here that you see now that used to not be on there. It used to be known as more of like a grocery shopping cashback app. But that's still there and they just keep adding new branches to the app, which is why it's still so highly rated. They also have a good referral program as well that can pay you pretty well. It might pay you like 5 or $10 for a referral, depending on what's going on. But the person you refer can also get $10 by using your code. So it benefits both ways. That's how a lot of the best referral programs work. As I kind of mentioned with feature points, you get points when you use a code and you get points when you have other people use your code. So great program. You can scan receipts from different retail stores like grocery stores, for instance. If you have a rewards card at something like Kroger, for instance, or Walmart, you can put that on file and it'll make the process much faster. So you're getting a lot of earnings just from that kind of stuff. Another one to check out is called Rakuten, which also used to be called Ebates. You may know it better as Ebates, but either way, you shop online and you earn cash back, and it's up to like 40%, depending on the store. So bigger stores will usually be less, like 1% or 2%. Smaller, more niche stores, you know, you see something like Columbia, you see Grove, you see Lively, you see some of these other ones that pay you like 10% cash back right now. That's really good. And so this is just another way for you to, before you buy anything online, make sure you check Rakuten by using the Chrome extension in your browser or by using the app on your phone. And you can also refer people and earn about $30 or so when you refer new members, as you can see right there. So great referral program, really good for online shopping, and they apply to thousands of stores. And you can get this app for both your Android and Apple devices. It'll look just like this, as well as the free Chrome extension, which works with the Brave browser I mentioned earlier. If you want to just stack, you know, little earnings here and there. Or it also works with, say, the Microsoft Edge browser now, and of course, Google Chrome. You also have something like Stash. So this is more similar to Acorns in that you can use it for automating your finances, automating your budgeting and savings, and automating some of your investing. So it can allow you to stash money, hence the name, and allow you to earn money as far as cash back from certain programs, as well as invest it. So they also are very good about, say, allowing you to invest in big companies without having a lot to invest. So this is called fractional shares. So you can invest in fractional shares with Stash for just $1. So if you want to invest in Apple, but their stock is just hundreds of dollars per share and you don't want to invest all that money just for one share of a company that you really like, you can invest in fractional shares and diversify a little bit more instead of putting all of it into two stocks with Amazon or Apple or something. So that's a really cool feature, something I really like and might be the future of, you know, some of this um, tech investing. They also have different programs where you can earn your paycheck earlier with them. They have some banking um, tools and stuff that you can use. You can uh, say goodbye to a lot of fees, just like Acorns. They have like a monthly fee instead of a percentage that they take out of your investments, which seems like more of an old school way of doing things now with all these apps coming up that rely more on technology and less on uh, like mutual fund managers. So it allows them to charge less fees. And the more, in, the more money you have in your account, the less percentage of your investments you're paying fees for. So as you invest, your fees basically go down in a sense. Then another one is called Savvy Connect. This is more similar to the MB Meter CX app. This is another one that collects anonymous data for market research and allows you to earn money passively by just letting it run in the background. So it's another one that you can just try out. There's a bunch of them out there. You can check out like Nielsen Mobile. You can check out Mobile Expressions. I've covered these in other videos and blog posts, but 
Savvy Connect is just another another one you can check out for like an Android device. You can surf the web as you normally do. They collect data. You might earn as much as $180 or so per year from this. Um, so it depends on referrals. It depends on how many devices you use this on and things like that. But you can use it for desktop, mobile, and tablets. And again, they do also have a referral program. So each time a referral, and someone who uses your code to sign up, uh, uses this and goes through the program, you can earn like five to fifteen dollars. So that's a really nice perk as well. Now, last but not least, you have Paribus. Paribus is only available for desktop and Apple devices right now, but you don't really have to have the app to make it work because it uses your email more than anything else. It, if you have a Yahoo, Gmail, or other type of email where you constantly are getting receipts from online purchases or from even purchases in stores, do that now, where they send you a receipt via email. If Paribus, as they scan your email and stuff, finds that a price goes down after you purchase that product, they will actually give you a refund of the difference minus their fee. So they'll take like a certain percentage for their fee to make sure that they can keep the lights on and keep running their business to provide this really nice tool. And then you get, you know, maybe like 80 or 90% of the difference in the price change for each time you buy something and the price goes down in the future. So instead of being bummed out that you overpaid for something, they actually give you the difference minus their fee. So it's a really cool automated tool that you can get that a lot of people don't even know about. So you can get the app or you can get the um, just sign up through their website on your computer. So those are 11 different apps that pay you literally for almost doing nothing and uh, you can check out links and more information at the show notes page at selfmadesuccess.com. I'll have a link to that in the YouTube description. And for other video and for other apps like these that pay you for all sorts of things, check out the video in the top right, and I'll see you in the next video.